Welcome to Celebrities Heritage. Today, we're going to dive into the fantasy comedy film Matilda, released in 1996. In this video, we'll not only explore the evolution of the characters on screen, but we'll also take a look into the lives and careers of the cast from the time they starred in the movie up until now. Who has passed away, who's still shining, and how their lives are going today. Now, let's get started. Number 15. The character Michael Wormwood was played by actor Brian Levinson, born on October 27, 1982, in Los Angeles. He was only 14 years old when he took on this role. Michael is Matilda's older brother, a rude boy who often mocks his sister. In the Wormwood family, he plays the part of a careless sibling, showing arrogance and assisting his parents in their dishonest schemes. He serves as a stark contrast to Matilda, being neither intelligent nor empathetic toward her. Besides this role, Brian Levinson is also known for films like Predator 2 and Hardball. Now, at 41, he is retired from acting and rarely appears in public. His last role was in the TV series Seinfeld in 1997. Number 14. The character Harry Wormwood was played by Danny DeVito, born on November 17, 1944, in New Jersey. He was 51 years old when he took on the role. Harry Wormwood is Matilda's father, a dishonest car salesman who frequently scams customers and is greedy and rude. He is a part of the Wormwood family that mistreats Matilda. This role is marked by satire and humor, highlighting the stark contrast between Harry and his daughter. Besides this role, Danny DeVito is also famous for playing Louis de Palma in the series Taxi, which earned him both an Emmy and a Golden Globe. He has also produced blockbuster films like Pulp Fiction and Aaron Brockovich. Now, at 79, he continues his career in acting and producing, working on major projects like It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia and playing a significant role in the American film industry. Number 13. The character Miss Honey was played by actress M. Beth Davids, born on August 11, 1965, in Indiana. She was 31 years old when she took on this role. Miss Honey is Matilda's kind and caring teacher. With her gentle and dedicated nature, she always protected Matilda from the mistreatment by her family and the cruel principal. Miss Honey was also the first to recognize Matilda's special abilities and helped her develop self-confidence. This character plays a crucial role in Matilda's journey, serving as her support and inspiration. Besides this role, M. Beth Davids is also well known for her roles as Helen Hirsch in Schindler's List and Mary Parker in The Amazing Spider-Man. Now, at 59, she continues her acting career and successfully overcame breast cancer in 2013. She currently lives with her family in Los Angeles. Number 12. The character Mrs. Wormwood was played by Rhea Perlman, born on March 31, 1948, in Brooklyn. She was 48 years old when she took on this role. Mrs. Wormwood is the mother of Matilda and Michael, a greedy and neglectful woman who pays little attention to her children. She is careless, obsessed with playing bingo, and frequently dismisses Matilda's talents. Her indifference towards Matilda creates a sharp contrast with Matilda's intelligence and potential. Beyond this role, Rhea Perlman is best known for playing Carla Tortelli in the television series Cheers, a role that earned her four Emmy Awards. More recently, she voiced the character Sid in the Star Wars, The Bad Batch series. Now, at 76, she continues her acting career, participating in various film and television projects.
Number 11. The character Miss Agatha Trunchbull was played by Pam Ferris, born on May 11, 1948, in Germany. She was 48 years old when she took on this role. Miss Trunchbull is the cruel and ruthless headmistress of Cruncham Hall, where Matilda attends school. Known for her violent nature, she often bullies students and imposes harsh punishments to maintain control. Her relationship with Matilda is particularly tense, as the young girl dares to challenge her authoritarian power. Beyond this role, Pam Ferris is also known for her portrayal of Ma Larkin in The Darling Buds of May and Aunt Marge in Harry Potter and The Prisoner of Azkaban. Her role as Miss Trunchbull earned her a Saturn Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress in 1997. Now, at 76, she resides in England and occasionally participates in television and film projects. Number 10. The character Bruce Boxtrotter was played by Jimmy Cars, born on July 26, 1984, in California. He was only 12 years old when he appeared in this film. Bruce is one of Matilda's classmates, known for the iconic chocolate cake scene in the movie. In that scene, he is punished by the headmistress, Miss Trunchbull, and forced to eat a gigantic cake after being caught stealing a slice. Aside from this role, Jimmy Cars also appeared in The Wedding Singer and the TV series ER. Afterward, he decided to leave acting to pursue a medical career. He is now an osteopathic physician, having graduated from the Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine. At 40, he currently practices medicine and leads a quiet life, far from the public eye and his past fame. Number 9. The character Amanda Thrip was played by Jacqueline Steiger, born on December 26, 1986, in California. She was only 9 years old when she took on this role. Amanda is one of Matilda's classmates and is best remembered for the scene where the headmistress, Miss Trunchbull, throws her by her pigtails across the schoolyard. Amanda is a likable character but becomes a victim of Miss Trunchbull's authoritarian and violent behavior. Aside from this role, Jacqueline Steiger appeared in films such as Dennis the Menace Strikes Again and Beautiful. After taking a break to focus on her studies, she graduated with honors from UCLA with degrees in linguistics and anthropology. She later returned to the entertainment industry, trying her hand at screenwriting and production, with her notable project being the series Force Push. Number 8. The character FBI agent Bob was played by Paul Rubens, born on August 27, 1952, in New York. He was 44 years old when he took on this role. Bob is an FBI agent investigating the Wormwood family, particularly Matilda's father, who is involved in fraudulent activities. With his cold yet subtly humorous demeanor, Bob adds a contrast to the tense moments in the film. In addition to this role, Paul Rubens is best known for his portrayal of Pee Wee Herman in Pee Wee's Playhouse. He also appeared in films such as Batman Returns and Mystery Men. After a hiatus from acting, Rubens made a return to the screen with new roles. He passed away on July 30, 2023, after battling cancer at the age of 70. Number 7. The character of four-year-old Matilda was played by actress Sarah Michelle Magdalene, born on December 20, 1989, in California. She was only seven years old when she took on this role. Little Matilda is a bright, book-loving, and quiet character. 
Despite her young age, she shows remarkable calmness and intelligence, serving as the central figure of the entire film. Sarah's role portrays the younger version of Matilda in flashback scenes depicting her childhood. In addition to this role, Sarah appeared in the documentary Afternoon Tea, a Matilda reunion, where she reunited with the cast of Matilda. Later, she chose not to pursue an acting career, instead becoming a teacher. Now, at 35, Sarah lives a quiet life dedicated to her work in education. Number 6. The character Julius Rotwinkle was played by Laura Hackle, born on April 23, 1986, in Hawaii. He was only 10 years old when he took on this role. Julius is a student at Cruncham Hall, where Matilda attends school. He is best known for the scene where the headmistress, Miss Trunchbull, throws him out of a window for eating MNMS in class. Although his appearance is brief, Julius leaves a humorous impression in the serious context of the film. Hackel is now a psychology professor at USC, having started his acting career as a child in Los Angeles, appearing in various commercials and films. After Matilda, he continued acting but eventually shifted his focus to psychology and neuroscience. At 38, he is currently dedicated to academic research, specializing in social cognition and human behavior. Number 5. The character Miss Phelps was played by Jean Howard, born on October 13, 1926, in Los Angeles. She was 70 years old when she took on this role. Miss Phelps is the kind and gentle librarian who helped Matilda discover her love for books. This character served as a source of emotional support for Matilda, helping her explore the world through reading. Beyond this role, Jean Howard was a well-known actress with a career spanning decades. She appeared in notable films such as Scrooge, Cocoon, and Apollo 13. In addition to her acting career, she was also a renowned model and photographer, capturing images of many famous figures during Hollywood's golden age. She passed away in 2000 at the age of 74, leaving a lasting legacy in the entertainment industry. Number 4 the character Matilda was played by Mara Wilson, born on July 24, 1987, in Los Angeles. She was only nine years old when she took on this role. Matilda is a smart and brave little girl who, despite being mistreated by her family and the cruel headmistress, overcomes all obstacles with her intelligence and special abilities. She is the inspiring protagonist of the film. In addition to this role, Mara Wilson is also known for her performances in Mrs. Doubtfire and Miracle on 34th Street. She is actively involved in social causes, particularly mental health and gender equality. She has published several works and continues to make a positive impact through social media platforms. Now, at 37, she focuses on writing and social activism. Number 3. The character of Hortensio was played by Kira Spencer Hesser, born on July 19, 1984, in Washington. She was only 11 years old when she took on this role. Hortensia is an older, tough student known for her rebellious and brave personality. She tells Matilda terrifying stories about the headmistress Miss Trunchbull, helping Matilda understand the cruelty at Cruncham Hall. Hortensia serves as a supportive friend and motivates Matilda in her journey to stand up against the forces of evil. Beyond this role, Kira Hesser is also known for films like Character Actors and Immobile Home. Currently, at 40, she continues her career as an actress and writer and also hosts the travel show Islands Without Cars on PBS, which earned her a Chicago Emmy Award in 2022.
Number 2. The character Lavender was played by Kiami Davil, born on August 21, 1986, in Kentucky. She was only 10 years old when she took on this role. Lavender is Matilda's fun-loving, mischievous best friend who stands by her through the challenges at Crunchum Hall. This character brings lighthearted moments and showcases loyalty to her friends. In addition to this role, Kiami Davil has had a diverse career in entertainment. After appearing in TV shows like Steve Harvey and Moesha, she expanded her creative career as a stage producer and writer. She also appeared in the film Bruno and the documentary Afternoon Tea, Matilda's Reunion. Now, at 38, she continues her work in stage production and screenwriting. Number 1. The character FBI Agent 2 was played by Tracy Walter, born on November 25, 1942, in New Jersey. He was 49 years old when he took on this role. FBI Agent 2 is one of the two FBI agents assigned to investigate the Wormwood family, where Matilda lives. He often engages in tense yet humorous dialogues with Matilda while searching for evidence of stolen car sales. Though the role is small, Walter's natural acting brings a unique touch, making the character memorable for the audience. In addition to this role, Tracy Walter is known for his performances in major films such as Conan the Destroyer, Batman, and most notably his role as Miller in Repo Man, which earned him a Saturn Award. Now, at 81, he continues his acting career, taking on various roles in both film and television. Thank you for joining Celebrities Heritage on this journey to explore the fantasy comedy film Matilda. We hope this video brought back wonderful memories of the movie. If there's another film you'd like us to dive into, feel free to leave your suggestions in the comments below. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe so you won't miss any exciting upcoming content. See you in the next video.